can I fix these three websites in just five minutes each? Let's see, the first one is for a big tech company, Gojek in Indonesia and across Southeast Asia, and they kind of have a super app. And the first thing that stands out to me here, look, the hero section is kind of forgettable, is that we go from this aerial photography into these illustrations, which are gently animating in a very simplistic style. But then below it, we have these low res 3d isometric illustrations and they're a completely different style completely different color palette and it really kind of jars against it then we have another style of illustration and then another photography treatment with different fonts and these icons here which look different again then we've got a photography style we've got colors that we've not seen before Maybe similar to the first style of illustration, but these characters are funny. So I'm not going to be able to fix all this illustration in five minutes. Um, this illustration, you know, and it's cool. There's nothing wrong with it. This is this is an interesting, playful, colorful style. Some of this is nice, but let's have this consistently. So I'd probably spend my five minutes just writing them an email to explain this or recording a little video, but we're not going to have that. So let's see what we can do with the homepage. The next site has been featured here on the channel before and one commenter said they need to escape from this escape web they need to escape from this escape room website don't know why that's so difficult to say um and yeah this is just i mean how many fonts are going on here let's have a look at fonts ninja we've got kepler we have got anton Gagolin, Salted Bay, these sound like the font fonts, these two, Railway Thin, that's neither, oh we've got Ariel here as well, so we know that there's at least six fonts and we've got a video in the background, there's all kind of things going on here, five minutes long enough do you think? And finally we have got Top End Music Centre, which is a music shop in Australia, in the Northern Territory. And this doesn't have a lot of the problems of the last site, does it? We've got the alignment, that's right. We've got good quality photography, but we need a tune up here. What do you think? What would you do with this site? And what do you think I'll do in five minutes? Let's get straight into it. Okay, let's tackle the Gojek site first. As I was importing this with the HTML to design plugin, it didn't have uh, the font, the main typeface that's used on this website. So I went to Tightwolf and picked what it said was similar. It's not really that similar. Um, so we'll just have to work with uh, what we've got on that. So let's make a copy of this frame that it's created. And all these messy frames within it, this is gonna be a challenge. And let's start the timer. Looking at this, obviously we needed to line up this navigation on the top. It looks weird how that's, that's not quite lined up. It's pretty amateurish for such a big company. Um, and I think it was just really having some impact on this hero section. To be honest, if I had longer, I would just rethink the whole thing because the imagery all the way through is confused and maybe just lean into this illustration style, this first illustration style here. Uh, rather than the many different types of illustration and photography that's there. But at least just don't make it feel like very templated just with the way the type setting's done. We we need to create something. Maybe we could create this into like a bento with three different cells here. And each one could have like a large number, even larger. Um, and something like that might might sort of work better. Let's go on to the next one. So here we have got a lot of different fonts going on and I just want to look at sw swapping some of these um, before I start because I need to use the actions for that and that will lose my timer. So let's just duplicate a copy of this. We're all friends here, aren't we? So you're not going to be sticklers about these five minutes, are you? Let's use font swap. Okay, so we've already used Inter to replace some of these fonts because we didn't have a lot of the crazy fonts that were being used. Maybe let's leave Anton as a display font. Arial is so similar to Inter, so 
let's not have two that are similar but not the same so we'll change that and then also notice that railway was in there which is perfectly fine google font but i don't want too many body copy fonts here so let's just have inter which we know how to work with and anton okay now that we've done that let's start our timer five minutes let's go Okay, out of time. What do we think? Let's pull this over here. And let's have a before and after comparison. It's just about cleaning things up. It's about making it simple. Look at the navigation. We've got different casing all the way through. Title case. Then it's all caps for two. Then it goes back to a title case. Bizarre. And like prom promotion slash slash savings easy for me to say it's just promos isn't it we don't need the word here after book again we don't need the word page after home so it's just tidying all that up and then having the navigation where it's clear all these moves were designed to improve hierarchy because on this first site there's no hierarchy there's no order of importance what am i supposed to look at and they realize that because that's why they keep adding in like these arrows or, or underline that or make that italic, change it into a different font as if people won't see that and then make another font so people notice that. This is a classic non-designer move. So it's just about trying to improve that. It's still looking, you know, not not the best, but in five minutes, we've shown that by actually just stripping things away and that's a good thing to do if your layout's not working just start removing items you don't have to delete them you can just hide them on your canvas and see if that improves the layout because maybe there's too much going on i realized by the way a little caveat that this is you know a small business you know in alberta canada and they don't have the budget to go to you know a top web design agency all i recommend for people in this sort of scenario is just use a template i can see you're already using wix so if that's your preferred cms then just get a template for like $30 and just stick to whatever font they're using there and just use that all the way through. Keep the navigation where it is in the template and just add in the titles of your pages into that and just pick one that's got room for, you know, you to add your promos and when things change throughout the year. Um, but just stick to that and you'll get something with strong fundamentals um, instead of kind of, you know, dragging and dropping things all over the place because that's what leads to a mess. Okay, so let's go over to our third design. And there are stronger fundamentals here. We don't have those issues of alignment. It's only using two fonts. There's better quality of photography, things like that. What can we do? Well, I'm looking at this navigation. And actually, if you look here, we have the nav on the screenshot but it's not actually imported the text for the navigation here into um our figma so give me a minute if it's okay to actually type these out because without these we're not going to be able to do any design and you don't want me to spend my time copy uh typing do you you want to uh, see me designing and i think really the big issue is that they're using this whole area just as a navigation look it's like six cells that just navigate to the different areas of the site the different types of instruments that they offer in, in categories and i'm a musician and on these kinds of sites you do have these familiar sort of categories guitars drums and people know for guitars it includes guitar amps it includes guitar pedals etc so i think what we can do is maybe just separate out these things Okay, I've got those typed out now. I will also move them out of the way. Make a copy of this guy. And just check what font is being used here. Rosario. Okay, 
Let's get a timer going. Five minutes. Okay, so it needs some work. Obviously this is full black and we've got kind of this gray in the logo. So I'd probably want to, you know, change that. So we, we, we had this maybe match up a little bit more. It's a bit wishy-washy now. Needs finessing. And we'd want to put something into this hero section. But the general idea is that it's more about information this time. It's information architecture. And it's thinking about what the user wants. If you're a drummer, you go to the website, you expect the navigation at the top, you can click on drums and go and find what you want, especially if you're returning visitor to the site. But then it allows here in the hero section some information. It's January right now and we had a look at a live website. There's no information about a New Year's sale or anything like that. Uh, anything particular about their music shop, which makes them stand out. So it's a, a big chance to communicate something instead of using like almost all your homepage just for navigation. A proper navigation would then allow you to make use of that space. So no masterpieces here, but in only five minutes, what can you expect when I'm spending most of my time fighting with the Figma files? But hopefully it helped you understand that if we strip things away and just use our brain rather than uh, relying on time of just dragging things around, we can actually make a lot of improvements. So. Let me know if you'd like to see more of this type of video. Is five minutes a good length? Would you like to see 10 minutes, 20, an hour fixing up some sites? And until next time, happy designing.